Well, my money's on Caesar. I'm getting on the Russian side. So just when you thought it was safe to go back into the water, the Russians are deploying depth charges. Swordfish dinner's on me. It would seem that I have been remiss in not providing you with the larger picture. For decades, the world's militaries have been interactive and engaged with our alien visitors. The Russian captain had only moments to make a decision when six unknown objects are heading towards your submarine at over 200 miles an hour you don't open a communication shuttle to ask what your intentions are. This goes on constantly. Aliens will hover around cruises, but like to pick on the military. In the first encounter, the Russian Navy divers were shocked. That was the warning. It is actually a mild shock and used to deterrent. But returning with harpoons and nets was their fatal mistake. The suits not only provide for decontamination, but are used as a defensive shield. The suits come in three colors, black, green, and silver. This sounds like the one seen in Clear Lake, California. This is not the same suit filmed over Monterey Park, California. The cute visitors are tall, just about right for these suits. The three-eyed aliens with robot in tow is unusual, but they do like parks. Many of you have probably seen the Russian Admiral video interviews regarding Admiral Byrd UFO's encounter. Looks like our water taxi has arrived. However, one of the closest naval encounters was the Roosevelt aircraft carry. On a routine mission, the sailors on watch witnessed the ocean turn into a luminous bubbling cauldron as a cylinder as large or larger than the aircraft carrier itself rose from the ocean abyss. The sailors recounted that it had rows of windows and that they were being observed by beings that were clearly not human. Cylinder mothership sightings in the United States date back to the 1960s, and some have been reported to be as large as 4,200 feet to one mile long. A Japanese pilot during World War II had a similar but more distant encounter. He stated that the cylinder-like object was twice the size of his aircraft carrier. The translated Russian report on the regiment being turned into a limestone-like substance is of particular interest. Setting aside Greek mythology, Lot's Wife in the Bible, and Raiders of the Lost Ark, there are rare diseases which can cause hardening of the body. But only 41 throughout history have been labeled as the rock-hard body type. Stone man disease causes accelerated bone production. Only rapid and intense compression causing instant calcification through some unknown means could account for this human into limestone transformation. Most surprising is that the missile brought the UFO down. Apparently, even aliens let their guard down. I suppose the Russian soldiers look a bit like these terracotta warriors. Alexa, switch to stealth mode. We don't want to disturb the dead. The Russian lieutenant alien encounter is reminiscent of other pilots who have stated that they too were physically incapacitated. Counterpart to this is the recent commercial airline pilot who did have use of his appendages and could move, but had no control of the plane. When the three UFOs came alongside, one dropped below the plane and damaged the landing gear. The plane made a 180 degree turn and began to rapidly ascend from 6,000 to 14,000, at which time the aliens cut the pilot loose. The entire event has now been reenacted and the ATC transcripts translated into English. I suggest watching. Alexa, new flight plan. Head to the White House line now, friend, please. You know what the gardener said last time about landing on the front lawn. You're right, Alexa. Order them new cases of beer this time. Nice landing. I thought those green eels were extinct. So did I. I thought they were going to meet us here. You know they're always late. I call the Congressional Taxi Service. The White House Easter egg roll is tomorrow, so Captain Crane will be returning the flying sub back to the base.
Those are pooey eggs, girls. They're rotten. Don't touch them. I'll, I'll make sure the White House staff comes and takes them away. They should have been thrown out long ago. Look how they surround themselves with good eggs to fool us. They're off gassing. No buying, Mama.